during the pandemic, early on in the pandemic, about May of 2020, didn't really know if we'd ever leave the house again, <laughs> right? And I thought, oh my goodness, like I really need to have a family. Like that's always been something I've wanted and I better get back into the dating pool somehow. So um, I decided to join eHarmony in the middle of May and thought at least I can get to know some people and then when it's safe to meet up, we can. One man who showed up on my um, collage screen, the, the landing screen after you take the exam, had messaged me. I logged on there to log off forever. Um, and I had seen that uh, that Erin had viewed my profile, um, but she didn't leave me a message or anything else, so I messaged her. I've always been a very mothering person. Um, I was always like the mother of my friend group, um, just like a nurturing person. I just always dreamed of having hopefully a little boy and a little girl. But you know, as you get older and relationships aren't necessarily happening or they're not working out, you start wondering if that's meant to be for you. Um, and then when we met and we got started um, family planning, discovered that I might be infertile for whatever reason, we had no idea, but we weren't getting pregnant. Um, so that's when we knew we had to look into other options like IVF. We were slated to see uh, another uh, fertility expert um, I, I live in New Jersey. We went for our appointment and they were like, well, we don't have you on the books for today. Um, we had just driven like four hours for this appointment. We made the decision right then and there in the parking lot while we were discussing it because uh, my wife was like, you know, I would like to go to CNY. Um, she had been following Dr. Kiltz for some time and she knew about CNY. We got home and I called CNY to get a consult and we had, um, I had my consult with Dr. Uh, Dr. Kiltz on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. He talked about what our plan would be and, and we knew that this was the place to go. Um, it just felt right. It erased any doubts, concreted everything in for it. We were like, nope, this, this, is, this is definitely it. Anyone that uh, talks to us about, we were talking about possibly doing fertility treatment, et cetera, we're like, you have to check out CNY. Yeah. The other clinics from what I've learned are very cookie cutter. You know, Dr. Kiltz is on the forefront of infertility um, with his treatments, with his belief about the, um, the carnivore diet, the baby diet. So the month leading up to my embryo transfer for Bridget and basically all of my pregnancy until I had a major red meat aversion during pregnancy, which was around like end of second trimester, I followed the baby diet. I made Dr. Kiltz's ice cream in my KitchenAid mixer, um, eating anything from ribeyes to pork, um, eggs, the diet made a difference because I could tell in how I felt. You're just gonna get different results from him. And and it's an inclusionary facility too, right? So no one told me that I was, you know, oh, you need to lose 12 pounds, 20 pounds before you start. No one told me that my age was prohibited. No one told us we were too old. And even though Dr. Kiltz talked to me about donor eggs, nobody was forcing me to do it. Bridget was born with my 44 year old eggs. They, nobody discouraged me. They, they give me the information that I need and I'm happy that I use my own eggs. Um, I'm happy I at least gave it a chance instead of a clinic deciding for me and saying, no, I, it, was, it was harder for me in the summer before I conceived Bridget, I, I was ready to quit. And not because of my treatment at CNY because the treatments were wonderful, but because it was really taking a toll on me. Um, and the, the losses can be hard. It's not for the faint of heart. You really have to build up this this strength and resilience to go through it because um, we got pregnant on the second cycle and that felt great. We had one failure, second time we got pregnant and I was so excited um, and then I lost the baby in January, but it was due to chromosomal abnormalities. So it wasn't anything else that was contributing to it. I will say the staff here is so encouraging. They really just help you get through it too. So it's good to have a husband who's there for me, but it's also good to deal with a clinic where everyone really cares about you and they understand the losses and things that you're going through. I just want to encourage people to yeah. research your options. If you're serious about IVF, if, if you're not even sure why you have infertility or what's going on with you, Make a consult here. The travel team is fantastic. You know, we didn't travel from too far, but we were still considered travel patients. I feel like if they get their consult and they go with CNY, they won't be sorry. They'll feel welcome and cared about. It's, yeah. it's possible. It's Bridget approved. <laughs> it's Bridget approved. <laughs> <laughs>